Thanks to biology and society, there are many ways men and women are different. From the way they show affection to how they fall in love, we are going to explore those differences with some cold hard facts. Just wait until you see how men and women show attraction for one another differently. Stay tuned because you won't want to miss it. Before we jump into it, if you are new around here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Now let's take a look at 10 facts you didn't know about men and women. Social media When it comes to social media, men and women have different preferences as well as presence. Did you know there are certain words that men are more likely to say on social media than women? Or did you know that men and women use social media completely differently? Pretty interesting, right? First, let's look at those words we mentioned just a second ago. A study conducted by Stony Brook, the University of Melbourne, and the University of Pennsylvania studied 10 million Facebook postings from users ages 16 to 64. While doing so, they gathered information showing that men are more likely to express anger or use aggressive language than women on social media. The top words used by women were thankful, baby, excited, happy, birthday, love, you get the picture. And for men, those words were win, lose, battle, freedom, liberty, and so on. You can probably see the difference. Another shocking fact is that men spend about 40% less time on social media than women. But the reasons both sexes use social media is a little more interesting. Women lead the way when it comes to using social media for finding how-tos and connecting with friends and family. On the other hand, men are more likely to use social media for online dating and business. Regardless of how they use it, both men and women make up the 74% of adults who use social media daily. Hey guys, we are so excited to announce we are producing our own original content. Head over to the trendy for the best DIYs, fashion tips, makeup hacks, and so much more. We are sure you're going to love it. And be sure to let us know what you think in the comment section. We love to hear from you. See you there. Grooming When it comes to grooming habits and products, it seems like the gap between men and women might be closing. In the past, it wasn't uncommon to go through a girl's bathroom cabinet or shower and see a plethora of beauty supplies. In contrast, you could do the same to a guy's bathroom and find a one-size-fits-all product used for everything. There are still men out there who take a less-is-more approach when it comes to their grooming. But over the years, we have seen more and more men become interested in their skincare routines. But is there really a difference between male and female products other than marketing and packaging? Well, you might be surprised to learn that many men are ditching male pitched products and opting for unisex items. That is because instead of buying products marketed towards their gender, men prefer to purchase items based on their needs. Surprisingly though, men should wait before they jump into a female marketed skincare routine. That is because while there are ingredients that can help with their needs, they aren't going to get fast results. This has to do with the biological difference between men and women's skin. Did you know that men's skin is 20% thicker than women's? Plus, they have 22% more collagen in their skin, making them less prone to aging. So while there isn't a huge difference in grooming products aimed to different sexes, these facts prove that a little difference is needed. Breakups It's no secret that men and women handle breakups differently. It's long been suspected that men get over their relationships quicker than women. When they are newly single, they go out with their buds and have the time of their life, all while their ex-girlfriend is at home dealing with her emotions. While this may be the case, it seems like everyone got it wrong when it comes to how guys deal with breakups. Apparently, they do have fun at the beginning, but when the newness of being single sets in, things aren't always greener on the other side. Studies find that women do take breakups harder than men, even having increased fear reactions that cause unexpected weight loss or weight gain. That is because women go through the emotions of a split almost immediately. In fact, research has shown these feelings last about two weeks for women. Men, on the other hand, take much longer to process these emotions. That means even three months after a relationship is over, men could still have feelings that they haven't been dealt with. This could cause them to have a long-term depression, which could be made worse by seeing their ex-partner start to move on. So, if your ex-boyfriend seems like he is over it soon after you guys split, there is a pretty good chance the realization of the breakup will hit him like a ton of bricks when he least expects it. Self-image When you think about self-image, you probably imagine it's only an issue for women. Surprisingly, that isn't the case. The way men and women view themselves is completely different and it has a lot to do with pressures from society. Thanks to our obsession with being perfect, men and women strive to live up to some unrealistic standards. For women, that may mean being skinny, having a large chest or an hourglass figure. It also means having smooth skin free of wrinkles and blemishes. This is a lot to ask for and that is only a tiny example of what is expected. These standards are hard to live up to especially when most of the time these things don't come naturally. When it comes to men, they are supposed to have chiseled features
features a six-pack, muscular arms, a prominent jawline, and good hair, just to name a few. Again, this is nearly impossible to achieve for the average person. That means men and women are flocking to places like the gym or plastic surgeon offices to try to fit these standards. This is wreaking havoc on both sexes' self-image. Though, it should be noted that men usually have a better self-image than women. But until we start having realistic views on beauty, the lack of positive self-image for men and women is only going to keep spreading. Friendships If you hang out with a group of male friends versus a group of female friends, you will probably see a big difference in the way they treat each other. That is because the way men and women form and maintain friendships is somewhat different. Men are more likely to have close friends that they haven't spoken to in years. That's because, unlike women, men don't find the need to keep in constant contact with their friends. But when they do, they are more likely to share in activities together like sporting events or golfing. Men also view their friendships as more transactional, meaning they do favors for one another or work together on projects. On the other hand, women tend to have more emotional bonds with their friends. They keep in regular contact by calling or scheduling meetups. Women tend to rely on their friendships for support, but that also means that these bonds can sometimes be more fragile. Because they are relationships based on deep feelings, it is easier for women to get hurt by their friends. Of course, this isn't the case for every friendship. Men are perfectly capable of having emotional bonds with one another, and it should be noted that men and women's friendships actually have more in common than they do differences. Their brains you probably already know that there is a big difference between the way men and women think. But does that mean there is a difference in their brains and how they function? Surprisingly, there were more similarities between male and female brains than you may have thought. For the sake of this video, we will explore all the ways male and female brains are different. It is well known that men have larger brains than women, even when you adjust for the fact that men are usually physically larger than women. Though we know this to be true, researchers are still unsure which parts of the male brain are more substantial. That isn't to say men are smarter than women, even if they like to brag about their big brains. This is because depending on where they attribute their larger brains could mean entirely different things. That being said, research has found that men are wired to do better in math while women are wired to do better in language courses. And did you know that men are more likely to suffer from neurological disorders like autism and ADHD? On the other hand, women are more likely to suffer from mood disorders like post-traumatic stress disorder. Even though that's the case, women's brains handle stress better than men, thus proving that neither the male or female brain is superior over the other. Fall in love Falling in love is different for everyone, so it's no surprise that your gender has something to do with it. Though it may not be a popular belief, men are actually more likely than women to rush into relationships. When it comes to emotions, most men have spent a lifetime suppressing them. When something or someone bursts the pipe open, it can lead to an emotional leak. And once a guy has finally opened up about his feelings, it's hard for him to go back. Then there is the notion that men are more territorial than women. They are more likely to want to take a woman off the market if they think she is a hot commodity. Also, when a guy falls hard and fast, they are less likely than women to question their emotions. Women tend to take logical steps when starting relationships, meaning they question almost everything. It's also interesting to note that when studied, research found that men have more love at first sight moments and they are also more likely to have feelings not reciprocated by someone else. And though it goes against gender stereotypes, men are three times more likely to say those three little words, I love you first. Considering everything pop culture tells us, these facts seem a little hard to believe, right? Crying For some reason, there is a notion that men aren't allowed to be emotional. But it's human nature to be sad and it's very human to cry. Though that may be the case, it is believed that women cry more often than men. And just because you may never see a guy cry doesn't mean he doesn't do it. In fact, men have moments when they shed a tear or two. It is just usually under different circumstances than women. This may also have something to do with biology. Did you know that women have smaller tear ducts, making it harder for them to hold as many tears as men? That means they are physically incapable of holding back the tears when they start to form. Plus, there is the fact that women have higher empathetic skills, meaning they have, surprise surprise, more emotions when it comes to connecting with other humans. Studies found that women cry on average 5.3 times a month, and their male counterparts cry only 1.3 times a month. So see, men do cry, just not nearly as often. Also, women cry for about 6 minutes while men cry for 2 to 3 minutes on average. Men also cry for different reasons than women, like when they get nostalgic or when a childhood hero passes away. Unsurprisingly, men are more likely to wait until they are alone to cry, mostly because pressure from society to not look weak. Thankfully, those social standards are starting to relax and men are becoming more open than ever to express their emotions. Show Affection We know that men fall in love differently 
differently than women, and we also know that men and women build different relationships, so it's only natural to assume men and women show affection differently, right? If you said yes, then you are correct. But you might be surprised to learn that the reason men and women show affection differently is because of the gender roles placed on them by society. Growing up, girls are conditioned to accept love easier. They become comfortable with expressing their emotions. So, when they grow up, it is much easier for women to vocalize how they feel. This could be through constant texting, which probably explains why your girlfriend wants to text with you all day long. On the other hand, boys are conditioned to be tough and not focus on emotions. Their male role models have boys focus on competition and being physically strong. So, you can see where this can make their way of showing affection drastically different. These differences usually end up causing tension in relationships as partners have different ways of communicating. For men, they show love by sharing activities activities or time with someone, while women become more accommodating to show their love. And though these findings prove that men and women show affection differently, they are both equal when it comes to the amount of affection they show their partners. How they show attraction If men and women show affection different, then they for sure show attraction differently. By attraction, we mean how men and women let someone know they are interested in them. While there are some signals both sexes give away because they are only human, there are also some that are exclusive to each gender. For example, for example, when a woman is talking to a man, she may start playing with her hair. She will also keep her feet pointed in their direction, as well as her hips. Women are also more likely to touch the person they are attracted to when they are talking. A slight squeeze of the arm or touch of the hand could be all the signs you need to know a girl is feeling you. Men, on the other hand, show their attraction in different ways, like locking his eyes with a woman's face and not their eyes. They also lean forward when talking to someone they are attracted to in order to get closer. And if he touches your knee or sweeps your hair behind your ear, there is a good chance he's totally smitten. Body language can also help if you want to let someone know you are attracted to them depending on their gender. For instance, women would much rather someone approach them from the front. Coming up behind them could cause them to feel vulnerable and unprotected. If you want to approach a guy you are attracted to, do so from the side or at an angle. When you try to approach him from the front, it could feel like you are charging them, which is seen as aggressive. Did you learn anything new? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up.